hello everyone so in this lecture we will give you a demo on the qgis how we can uh, do the georeferencing with the help of the qgis platform here we have uh, written some of the uh, steps to do the georeferencing on the qgis platform so first you have to open the qgis so when you will open your qgis so first you have to add the uh, the topo sheet we will show you how we can do the georeferencing with the help of topo sheet so topo sheet is a image so you have to go to the raster format because the image is in raster format so you have to browse your image and here we have one topo sheet for the uh, chandigarh region that is the uh, uh, foothill zone of the himalaya so here you can see the uh, this is the uh, chandigarh region and here you will uh, this this image is not georeferenced so for you have to first to gero, do the georeferencing you have to uh, zoom up uh, the uh, one of the corner of this topo sheet so here when you will zoom zoom in so you can see that here is your uh, longitude and latitude is written over there so this uh, for this point your uh, longitude is 76 degree and 45 minute and the latitude is 31 degree and 0 minute to uh, so to do the georeference uh, of this image so the on the qgis there is one plugin so you have to go to you have open that uh, georeferencing plugin that is called the georeferencer and you will get the uh, that georeferencer over the raster option so you have to go to the raster option and here you can see the georeferencer option so it is uh, the sign is uh, written over there so you have to just click the georeferencer and when you will click the georeferencer you will get such type of window and uh, you have to because you want to do the georeferencing of the topo sheet so you have to open your topo sheet over there so to open the uh, topo sheet you can simply uh, click uh, on this open raster image so you can do the georeferencing only the uh, raster file formats so that's why here you can see that you don't you don't have any other file formats such as vector or delimited or the wg uh, 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 wms so those options are not available here here you can see only the raster format option so when you will click on this raster format option they will ask you to open your file so i have opened the file here so you can simply uh, do the uh, you can simply go to the uh, one of the corner of your topo sheet so i will start from the left top corner of this topo sheet so to zoom uh, zoom in or zoom out you have to simply click on your uh, the control button of your keyboard and you have to scroll up uh, with the help of your mouse so and to zoom out you have to uh, uh, similarly you have to uh, scroll down with the help of your mouse so here i have zoomed in uh, to that uh, th uh, that point so here you can see the 76 degree 45 minute and 31 degree 0 minute latitude so to do the georeferencing here you can see there are uh, some of the options are available so here you will uh, you will also see the add point option and then delete point so with this add point you can simply add point on your map so i will first go to the add point option and then uh, i will go to the uh, uh, the point where i want to add the point this point are basically the gcps which i explained in the last lecture so first i have to add the gcps so i will just go to the this point where i know the exact latitude and longitude so when i will click over there so a window will open and it will ask you to put the latitude or longitude in terms of x and y so you have to give here the latitude and longitude so now you have to click over there 
and when you will click over there you will uh, a window will open and here they will ask you to enter the latitude or longitude in terms of x and y so here you can simply put your values uh, the longitude is 76 and 45 minute and your latitude is 31 and 0 minute and you 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 just click ok and here uh, at the uh, bottom down uh, of your screen here you can see the uh, your point has been marked and you can see the id source x y and your the associated uh, now the error is not showing over here when you will mark all your point then your residual error will show here so this, if suppose this uh, this option is uh, not showing on your window so you can enable the gcp table by simply clicking over the panel option and your gcp table here you can see this is enabled that's why it's showing over here but in case if i disable this option now you can see you cannot see your gcp table so you can uh, enable your gcp table through the view option so i have marked one gcp from the uh, top left corner of uh, this topo sheet now i will go to the second corner you simply zoom out by uh, scrolling your mouse and then again zoom in to your uh, uh, the second uh, uh, second corner of the, your topo sheet now here you can see your longitude is 77 degree and 0 minute and your latitude is 31 degree 0 minute now i will choose this point as my second control point so uh, i want to mark the second control point on this point so simply you have to click and similarly you have to enter the longitude and latitude so my longitude is 77 degree and 0 minute and latitude is 31 degree and 0 minute now i have entered the latitude and longitude and mark my second gcp now i will go to the third corner that would be the bottom bottom down corner of the topo sheet so here you can see here you can see your latitude is 30 degree 45 minute and your longitude is 76 degree 45 minute so you can add this point as your gcp so i will enter the longitude 76 degree and 45 minute and latitude is 30 degree 45 minute now click on ok so my third gcp has been marked and now i will go to the fourth corner that would be the right bottom corner of the topo sheet here you can see your latitude is 30 degree 45 minute and longitude is 77 degree 0 minute so i will just enter this value and click on ok so my four point has been marked so here you can see this point has been marked as the uh, control point now i can choose my uh, polynomial equations and the resampling uh, method by going to the setting option here you can see the transformation setting is given so by uh, now when you will go to the transformation setting you can see here you have to select your transformation type so which type of transformation i want to use so here i would say that you have to uh, uh, shuffle uh, some of the option here you can see the linear helmet polynomial 1 2 3 thin plate spine spline and projective so i will start with the linear and nearest neighbor resampling method so my target uh, reference system is so here i would i would choose the uh, wgs 84 43 26 epsg uh, projection system 
So, this is a uh, uh, most commonly used uh, geographic coordinate system. In uh, one of my last lecture, I have explained you uh, what was the WGS 84. So, this, this is the uh, bulk geodetic coordinate system and this uh, 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 this considered the earth uh, center as a uh, uh, point uh, the reference point through which all the latitude and longitude has been calculated. So, I will choose this option or if you want to uh, 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 choose some other projection system or the datum that you can uh, choose by going uh, this option coordinate reference system selector and you can simply search uh, over here which coordinate system or which uh, uh, datum or uh, uh, transformation system you want to use for your map that you can use. For this case I will choose the WGS 84 43 26 projection system. Now, in, in uh, another option you have to give the output for your image file. Here you can see by default it is been saved my uh, saved uh, on the location where my raw image was saved with the slight modification with the uh, with the naming of the image. So, I will uh, you can uh, do the changing if you want to uh, change your uh, output raster name that you can do and the another thing is you have to just click the save GCP point. So, the GCPs or the control point which you have marked that you can save by enabling this option. If you are not saving your GCP, so in that case your the point which you have marked that will be deleted once you closed your, your, your this uh, georeferencer uh, 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 window. So, now I will click on OK. So, here you can see. So, this this uh, this red lines are basically showing the error here you can see now once when I have chosen my polynomial equation and resampling method. So, here uh, at the residual option here you can see these are the associated error for my pixels. Now, I will just go to the transformation setting again and now I will change the linear to helmet. Now, I will see what we, what will happen. So, here you can see your error is very higher for this helmet option. So, Similarly, you can just shuffle these options and you can see which polynomial equations are suitable for you. So, I will keep it uh, with this linear and nearest neighbor and to do the georeferencing you can simply uh, click on the start georeferencing option. So, when you will uh, click on the georeferencing option now here you can see raster was successfully georeferenced when you will minimize uh, minimize this georeferencer option. So, uh, when you will minimize this georeferencing option and here you can see these are the points which you have marked. So, this is the uh, true geographic coordinate system here you can see the 77 degree and 29 uh, latitude and 77 degree longitude but you cannot see your georeference image over here. So, there is another option in your uh, georeferencer where uh, you can uh, you can directly load your georeferencing image over the QGIS platform. So, you have to for that you have to enable the load in QGIS when the uh, uh, georeferencing is done. And uh, if you have not enabled this option, you, uh, although your image has been georeferenced and it, it, it has been saved over here which you, you have uh, assigned the output uh, uh, raster image path in the on that path your image is already saved. But if you are enabling this option, so this will automatically load your georeference image on the uh, GIS platform. So, now I will again click on the georeferencing option and now you will see that your image has been already. So, this was your ungeoreference image and this is your georeference one. So, here you can see that your image has been georeference and that you can uh, you uh, here you can see that the true lot, uh, longitude and 
latitude of the your image you will uh, move your cursor over the image and you will see that your uh, latitude and lo uh, longitude has been changing so this image has been georeference and you can also verify your georeference image by enabling the base map just below this image so that you can do by adding the base map to add the base map yesterday we have uh, to add the base map we have uh, shown you in one of the uh, lecture that how you can uh, add the base map on the QGIS for that you have to go to the web option and in quick map service so in our last lecture uh, we we have show, uh, shown you that how you can add the base map uh, by searching over here but there is another option and uh, through that you you will be enable the google satellite images over here now you can see here you cannot see the other satellite data except nasa and osm so you can add all the images through uh, by clicking on the setting option and in the mode service in mode service you you have to click the get contributed pack and your uh, other satellite data will also add in your quick map service so for that you have to just uh, get the internet access and first make sure that your system has a uh, uh, internet connectivity and then uh, when your uh, system is uh, having the internet connectivity you, your pack will be automatically downloaded to the quick map service to get this uh, all the satellite package first you have to make sure that your pc has a uh, internet connection and once you are connected with the uh, uh, internet your pc has the internet connection then you just go to the get contributed pack and your uh, here you can see the last version of contributed pack was downloaded now you just close this window and and go to the web uh, web option so once you downloaded the uh, your uh, web pack and then you will go to the web and quick map service now here, here you can see first it was the only nasa and osm now here you can see that all the satellite data uh, which are provided by different organizations that you will uh, get over here for example if you want to use the google satellite data now here here you can see all this uh, data which which are provided by the google that you can get from here so now simply we will load the google satellite so you just click on the google satellite and on the layer panel you can see your google satellite image has been loaded you can zoom out your window and you can see all the google images has been provided over here so you just go to the uh, go to the your image for that you can just uh, click on the image uh, uh, right click on the image and you can use this zoom to the layer option so when you will click on the zoom to the layer option it will direct you to the your image so here you can see your image has been georeferenced uh, properly and uh, to uh, you can uh, you can also use the swiper tool which we have uh, uh, installed in one of our lecture so you can use the swiper tool to swipe your image and see that how accurately your image has been georeferenced so you can just drag your swiper tool now you can see over here the boundary of the hilly terrain or the flat portion you can see and it is uh, it is accurately georeference you can see over here this portion the mountain where sub himalaya has been uh, uh, started uh, where the sub himalaya and the indo gangetic plain are meeting you can see this area and uh, with this uh, swiper tool you can check whether your image has been uh, properly georeference or not if suppose your image has been not georeference properly or accurately you can again go to the georeferencer tool and you can add some more ground control points and that uh, ground control point will help you to uh, georeference accurately your image so uh, you can use this georeferencer tool and you can uh, georeference 
any of your maps or images. So, in the uh, now we will see that how uh, we can georeference a, uh, uh, a map or image uh, with the help of the base map. So, till now we have understood that how we can georeference a topo sheet which has already assigned some coordinate informations and now we will uh, look or we will explore the georeferencing uh, option uh, to georeference such kind of map which do not have any geographic coordinate informations. So, we will georeference such uh, a map uh, with the help of the base map. So, uh, first you just remove this map, to remove this map you just right click on the map and you uh, click on the remove layer option. So, this will uh, uh, you have to uh, again confirm uh, the remove option and you see here you have remove your uh, your map from the uh, 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 this software. So, you the close this georeferencer option. So, to close the georeferencer option you just go to the file and you close georeferencing. So, now and you enable this google satellite image. So, it will bring your google satellite map on the uh, your screen. So, now I will load uh, a map which do not have any geographic coordinate information. So, uh, I will georeference that map with the help of this google satellite image. So, we will see how we can do that. So, you have to first open that image. So, to open here I have one uh, one image of Cartoset band F and you open this image, this is uh, image is open in the layer option, but you cannot see on your screen. So, to, to see your image you just right click on the image and click on the zoom to the layer option. Now, here you will see that this image is open on your screen. So, here you can see that image because the your Cartoset image has already assigned some uh, uh, geographic information, but it is not accurately correct. So, you can uh, correct this uh, image and assign uh, the geographic information accurately with the help of the georeferencing option. So, if you use the swiper tool, you can see that this this image is not accurately correct. See this river, this river is uh, the the river on the on the image is is placed somewhere else irrespective of your base image. So, we will do, uh, do this correction with the help of georeferencing tool. So, first you have to go to the raster option and you just open your georeferencer tool and load your data on the georeferencer so, I have loaded the data here. Uh, you can just uh, enable the add control point and with this add control point you can uh, mark the ground control point or GCP on both the images. To mark the GCPs you to mark the GCPs you first have to identify some point which are similar on both the images. So, you just go to the uh, your satellite image and here you know that your image is for this particular area. So, you have to identify some common points or some common uh, control point where uh, those points are similar or you can easily identify on both the images. So, you can see you just uh, zoom in a little bit or you can see this is the these are the two rivers and here you can see here this is the road or this is uh, another road and this is the intersection point of the two road. So, you have to identify this intersection point on your base image also. So, to go to your base image or you just zoom in here you can see this is the same area which we have uh, seen in in our target image so you can choose this this point as your ground control point so you go to the georeferencer and you add the uh, uh, point by clicking over here 
and now this will ask you to put the latitude and longitude. But this georeferencer has one uh, uh, one option where you just uh, this will direct you over the base map. So from this uh, this from map canvas option, the, when you will click over here, so this will direct you to the base map. So you don't need to enter the latitude or longitude over here. If you know the uh, exact latitude or longitude of this position or this point, then you can put over here uh, as we did for our uh, topographic map. But for this uh, case, you can just uh, go to the base map and you can click over here. So this will, you can see here your uh, longitude and latitude is automatically mentioned once you click over your base map. So now you just click OK and here you can see one GCP has been marked. Similarly, you have to again identify the another point where you can mark your uh, control point. So you just go to the base map and you identify the another point. So here you can see this is another river and here this is the road intersection. So try to identify those points which are easily identify, uh, uh, easily you can identify on both the images. So uh, that would be better because if you are uh, selecting point which are not easily identifiable in both the images in that case if you are mistakenly uh, selecting point uh, here and there so that will uh, ultimately associate some kind of error and that will uh, 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 means your uh, that will uh, georeference uh, your image but your image will be uh, uh, getting some error so you choose this point and click over here and go to the map and you can see this is the uh, this is the road intersection which we have chosen in our target image so you also click uh, on this uh, uh, base map once you click you can see this uh, longitude and latitude is mentioned over here for this point and now click ok so we have marked the two point and so and you have to mark another point so at least uh, try to mark four to five point uh, to georeference your map and uh, you just try to scatter those four four and five point because if suppose you are uh, choosing point in a particular area or your point has is clustered for a, a particular reason so that will also associate error in your georeference map so here you can see is it's a dam so you just you can choose uh, one point from here so this is your uh, uh, this is your dam and this is the road so you just try to identify this point on your base map you just scroll and here you can see this is the point and uh, this point you can mark so this is the uh, corner of the uh, road so I will choose this point as my control point so you just click on uh, click on here and you can see this is your latitude longitude so uh, we have marked the three point so i have to choose another point so you uh, you go to the another corner and here you can see this is one road and you try to identify this road on your base map so this is the river how you can identify your uh, uh, your uh, point so you have to just uh, see the uh, geomorphic feature of your image so for this case I can see that this river is coming from here and this river is passing uh, this road so you can choose this point so first you can you you have to locate this point on your map so this is the this is the uh, uh, point where we can mark the point so this is the uh, uh, overbridge so I will choose point on this overbridge so here you can click and from the map section you can click over here so now you can see we have marked the four point and you can also mark one another point at the center portion because uh, here we have marked the four point on the four corner of the image and one more point will 
give give us the more accurate georeferencing image so here you can see the another river the small uh, river it is flowing uh, from here and you can see this is uh, a road so you have to just identify this point on your base map you can see this this road you have to identify on your base map here uh, two road are uh, crossing each other so i will identify this point on the base map so you just go your base map and here you can see this is the point i can mark uh, the uh, control point over here so you just mark here and you can see so now we have chosen five point and with the help of this five point with the help of this five point we will do the georeferencing so we have completed with our uh, uh, gcps so at the uh, gcp table you can see five point has been marked and in the residual error option you cannot see anything so to get the residual errors you have to first choose your polynomial equations and the resampling method so to choose the polynomial equation and resampling method you have to go to the setting option and transformation setting you have to choose your polynomial equation so i will start with the linear and nearest neighbor and my target coordinate system is wgs 84 43 26 because this is the cartoset image and the cartoset image has been acquired with this uh, wgs 84 datum system with reference to this wgs 84 reference system and my output uh, image has been is saving on this uh, directory and i have also enable the save gcp point and load in the qgis when done so just click on okay and here you can see this much is the error associated with your image with this transformation setting so you can just shuffle this transformation setting and you can see what happens so for this image you can see that the transformation setting a polynomial born and nearest neighbor is giving me the minimum residual error here you can see the residual error so you try to shuffle all this option and see uh, which uh, transformation type and resampling method giving you the minimum residual error so you choose that option because every image has been associated some kind of error so you might Uh, not know that which uh, image has what kind of error so for that you have to just simply shuffle all the options and you can go through this option and whichever is giving you the minimum error so you try to choose that option so for this image i can see that this polynomial one and nearest neighbor resampling method is giving me the minimum error so i will go with this option and you just click on the start georeferencing option so this will your image is uh, georeferencing and once the georeferencing has been done you can see one pop up will come up here and you can read that raster was successfully georeferenced and uh, because i have enable the uh, load in qgis option so your image might have open in the in the uh, your uh, Uh, screen on the QGIS screen. So here you can see this is your band app modified. This this is your georeference image. So this black patches are basically the portion which don't have any kind of DN value. So that's why this is uh, this portion is showing you black. So you can uh, use your map swipe tool to see that how accurately this image has been. Geo reference. So you can see over here. You can little bit zoom this image, or you can see that this river is perfectly aligned over your your base map. So this image is accurately geo reference. So similarly, you can geo reference your topo sheet or any kind of map which don't have any kind of geographic uh, in uh, coordinate information. So you can uh, use the GIS platform. Uh, here uh, we have shown you or give a demonstration on the qgis uh, as well as the arcgis so uh, 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 with this uh, both this gis platform you can uh, georeference your images so in next lecture we will uh, came with a, uh, uh, we will come with a third lab where we will show you how we can do the 
merging and mosaic mosaicing of different images with the help of uh, uh, this QGIS. Thank you.